Hey guys, this is Trey with Smart Home Starter and today we're going to go through how to either restart or reset a Samsung TV. Um, so I actually have here the Crystal UHD TU7000 powered by uh, Tizen, 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 not sure, but either way, uh, pretty fairly common Samsung Smart TV and you know right now it's running a bit slow. So. We're just going to walk you through two different ways to restart this. Uh, you definitely want to start with the restart because resetting it, you're going to lose all of your passwords and content settings. So uh, first restart option, pretty simple. We're just going to unplug it and plug it back in. Now, when we unplug it, we're going to keep it unplugged for 30 seconds. Um, I'm going to skip demonstrating that now because it's pretty straightforward. Um, but, you know, plug it back in, turn it back on. And if we're still seeing the same issues, we are going to try our second restart option. It's actually called cold booting. Now, this is essentially a soft reset um, and should help us you know, clear up some of that memory. Sometimes there's a residual amount of electric buildup uh, and a cold boot can usually help push this out. So what we're gonna do on the remote control, which, which you guys can't see, but I'm actually pressing and holding the power button and we're gonna keep holding this for about 30 seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now the TV should turn off and then turn back on. There we go. So I didn't turn it back on. I just kept holding the power button. And, um, you know, it looks like it's pulled up our, our Samsung TV Plus. Let's get out of the screen. Um, so now on your end, you know, definitely take a look around and see if you're still having those same issues. Now, if you are having those same issues, that's when we're going to run to a uh, an actual reset. Now, I don't. You know, you don't want to do this slightly because you are going to you know, have to put in all of your, your passwords again and make sure uh, your, your, uh, your video settings are back where you want them. But, you know, sometimes you, you just got to do it. So let's uh, actually let's before we do the hard reset, let's run a self diagnosis. And how we're going to do that is we're actually going to go to our settings and we're going to go down to support and device care. It's kind of weird actually, because um, for some reason that doesn't work for me unless I have something playing behind it. So let's open up Samsung TV Plus again. Uh, we're gonna go down to our settings, choose support, oops. And there it is, now we can access it. So we're gonna hit device care and it's gonna check our device, right? So this could save us from having to do an actual factory reboot. So let's start this and see if it can pull out what is wrong with the TV. Do, 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 do. Cool, so that's done. It says that we're in good shape. So of course, we're just gonna go back. We're gonna test it. We're gonna see if we're having the same issues that we were having before. So if we were still having those issues, this is when we're gonna to have to roll into the factory reset. Um, now again, I, I would definitely run through all of these options before moving to your, your factory reset, just because it's a pain to, to retype in all your passwords. And if you have special video settings, it's just a pain to get those back to normal. Um, so let's just walk through real quick how we're going to do this factory reset. Now you see I have to have something on the screen. For some reason if I'm on the apps page it doesn't let me access this. So again I have Samsung TV Plus playing and we're going to open up our settings. In settings we're going to roll down to general and then in general we're going to scroll down to this reset option. We're going to select it. So if you have a pin, you're going to input your pin, but the default pin is 000. So I'm going to input that in right now. And it gives me one last chance to uh, not do this, but I'm going to go ahead and push for the reset. And here we go. Now we're just going to let this run. Uh, the TV should um, restart. And, you know, hopefully now, 
uh, your, your TV is back to its factory settings, any issues you were having before have been resolved. If they weren't, this is when you're going to have to probably open up the manual or, you know, get on the line with, uh, with Samsung to figure out if they have any solutions for you. Now this is a really good opportunity for me to kind of plug our, our new service. It's called Tech Supportal. With Tech Supportal, you have access to uh, our tech, tech experts. Um, so whenever you're having an issue like this, uh, it's very simple. You just get on the phone or you know start a chat with our, our tech experts and they can help walk you through um, some troubleshooting uh, outside of what we just went through. Um, now this is a subscription service. We'd love to have you. I'll drop the link in the description. Um, if this was valuable to you, please do us a favor, like and subscribe. Drop us a comment if there's a video you'd like to see next. And we'll, uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.